staying in the 70s the next few days, although by Wednesday, when a cold front comes in, we'll drop those temperatures briefly, but it's not going to be bringing in a lot of precipitation. Las Vegas, notice the temperatures still stay in the 60s Thursday. We're down into the upper 50s, but we rebound right back up, breaking that 60-degree mark by the end of the week. I mentioned Los Angeles. You're staying just above average in the next few days, actually warming late week. We'll have more on your top headlines up next of the snow and create that snow melt threat. As we go up to the north, ice is the big story up here. Places like State College, Scranton, Albany already getting in on some of that heavy ice accumulation. I'll turn on the radar at a State College to kind of see where the ice and the rain are separated here on the radar. That's where the temperature profile is different, where we are seeing a little bit of warmth in the atmosphere to create that ice element of the forecast. Over the last 24 hours, when it comes to that accumulation for ice, Ice. Most of these areas have seen about a tenth of an inch. Some areas reporting up to a quarter of an inch already. I think some of that might have melted just a bit before it started coming through, but not just there. As you, we look at the Binghamton radar, same thing as we're kind of estimating some of the ice accumulations through this area. We're looking at, again, about a tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch. And that wouldn't be out of the question through the morning hours, as we could have upwards of half an inch of ice by the time all is said and done. But so far, things are still getting going and still working through these areas. With that in mind, we are also continuing to track the risk for some lake effect snow that's out there. As we zoom out, there is some of that moving into areas like Marquette and Sault Ste. Marie, but it is still going to be uh, the big story that we'll see downwind behind the cold front into places like Erie, Buffalo, Clay, Watertown, where several feet of snow is likely from that lake enhancement. There's a lot of colder air on the backside of this system. I'll draw that front for you as we're watching this boundary leading the much colder air. We can turn on the temperatures at the surface and you'll notice that some of those temperatures are bitter out there. Places like Bismarck, minus 14, Minneapolis, minus 3, and even into the Midwest, Chicago, St. Louis, Indianapolis, we're in the 30s, near 40 degrees. It's not going to stay like that. So let's talk about that forecast because as we continue to track this much farther to the south, places like like Mobile, Alabama, we'll see and feel the drop in those temperatures as we go forward in time. We are still looking at the snow to be ongoing for the Green and White Mountains, the Adirondacks, the Plug Hill, t- pl- the ground through the day today. Eventually, we'll see this cold front swing off the coast, and as it, we're left with the continued hours and hours of snow, plus some hail reports and more of that's going to be ongoing through the day today. Check out some of the rain that did come into Texas yesterday. Anywhere from an inch to almost five inches of rain. We already had tornado warnings early this morning. That's going to be one of the higher threats, although the risk is relatively low. So it's not going to be a tornado outbreak, but we could have one or two tornado storms that come through. New Orleans, you're doing the same thing. Temperatures drop all the way to the Gulf Coast. Overnight temperatures in the 40s, afternoon highs in the 50s as we go into Same thing, notice that warming trend by the end of the week, but with that warming trend, slight warming trend, does feature a day of some thunderstorms as we head into Friday. As we're looking into West Texas, temperatures in the 50s, it's a little breezy behind that cold front that comes or 70 by the weekend. Stay tuned, we're going to be detailing all of your top weather headlines after the break. Utah, as well as the Colorado Rockies. Temperatures today, though, still going to be on the mild side. Denver, precipitation the next week or so, although there is a cold front that will drop our temperatures by the end of the week through the four corners. Highs today down south of the four corners, very widespread through these areas. Albuquerque not seeing as much of a chance on Wednesday for that rain, but temperatures still staying pretty steady in the low 50s as we go forward in time. Up into Northern California along that I-80 corridor, we're in the 30s and 40s in Nevada. As we're looking at Northern California, we're in the this afternoon and evening. Once that system passes, we get a change in on the way. Our models always underdo lake effect, and it's just because sometimes they have a hard time grasping that temperature contrast between the air and those sea surface temperatures, or in this case, the lake surface temperatures. As we monitor the ice threat, though, notice through affected through the Adirondacks, the green, the white mountains, and then after sunset, once again, ice becomes problematic. As we go into tomorrow, highs are going to barely make it 
to freezing, if not stay below freezing, meaning any ponding on ways is going to freeze. And you'll notice highs today in New York, 42. 30 is our high temperature on Monday, meaning we're not getting to freezing. Same thing in Philadelphia. Notice Pittsburgh 20s as your high temperature on Monday. Overnight temperatures falling into the teens and 20s. And yeah. 20s and that's going to lead to flooding risks and behind all the severe weather major cool down is expected highlighted today in yellow this is where the storm prediction center has suggested there could be ongoing severe storms we've already had a couple of tornado warnings in east texas louisiana overnight and more of them could build in as we go through the day there's all the heavy rain into the mid-south leading to snow melt leading to elevated flooding concerns and then that cold front swings through as we go through the day so places like like Chattanooga, Birmingham, down towards Hattiesburg. We could be looking at afternoon thunderstorms with the possibility of rotation embedded within this line. We keep watching that through the evening hours, but overnight tonight, the intensity fades, and then we're dry, clear, and comfortable for some of us as we go through the next few days. Otherwise, temperatures are going to be significantly dropping. It's going to feel much cooler compared to where we are today. As we're looking out into temperatures for the warmest point of the day, some of us uh, like places like Little Rock. It's going to be warm in the overnight hours. And then as we go through the day, those temperatures will be dropping on the backside of the rain. Same thing out ahead of it. We're going to be very mild until tomorrow. And then those temperatures bottom out. Notice Atlanta dropping from the 70s into the 40s. Same thing over towards Birmingham. We're in the 40s the next couple of days behind the thunderstorms. Tupelo, Mississippi, 62 with those storms coming through today. And then we're in the 40s as we head towards the start of our work week. Looking at where that snow is on the ground, this is where we'll have to monitor for some of that melting to lead to flooding concerns. There's already been some flooding ongoing through these areas. So over the next day or so, as temperatures uh, are warmer than where they have been, that's going to allow for melting to occur. Now, we will see a drop in those temperatures behind the rain that comes through as well. But still, this morning and into this afternoon, places like Nashville are warmer and that snow will continue to melt. At Atlanta, as I've already mentioned, notice the drop in the temperatures. Columbia, South Carolina, 64 today, 51 tomorrow, 40s on Tuesday. Another look at the storms as they come through. We're going to be watching them intensify as the day progresses, weakening after sunset, but still rain lingers along the coast for places like North Carolina, South Carolina, Southern Georgia, and then high pressure builds in and things will clear out. Not only do we have the chance for some heavy thunderstorms to come through, some intense wind, but there's all that heavy rain. So two to four inches of rainfall is not out of the question. These areas are highlighted for excessive rain leading to localized flooding. So that's going to be ongoing. Nashville, that's in our forecast for today. And then things dry out. Atlanta, Georgia, we're watching that rain chance. But check out our temperatures falling about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Down into Florida, temperatures are still in the 70s and 80s. The next few days just feature that cool down for us. Tampa going from 80 on Monday to 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday.